All right, everybody. So here is basically the final result on the SRM2620T. The cover for it just came in yesterday and I installed it. The two bolts, one there and one there. It looks great now. It is finally complete. The only other thing that I would probably do to this is like uh, get the set of air filters for it. <clears throat> because the uh, original pre-filter actually broke because it was just dry rotted. But the original air filter that's still in here seems to be in pretty good shape. I clean it up. I do not have any more Echo Red Armor, so we just got some nice 40 to 1 inside the tank. Like a greenish, bluish color or whatever. <laughs> pretty nice still. Used it yesterday once I put the cover on. I will say this, though. I don't like these Speedfeed 500s. I just, I don't know. Something about the 400s, I think, are just better. But either way... I know Echo recalled them for, like, melting in the extreme heat or something like that, but, uh, you know, Echo seems to be pretty good with their recalls or whatever, so just it's nice to see that this trimmer is finally a complete uh, one-piece now. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not going to start it. It's, uh, like, 8.30. Just thought I'd come out here and show you guys that it's complete. Basically, it's a complete project at this point. I don't, the air filters are not, like, a, like, a, yeah, they're important, but, you know, the the air filter is oh, pretty clean anyway so not a huge deal uh, i did replace the spark plug and fuel filter as well all the fuel lines seem to be good the grommets not leaking so uh, there you go i will continue to use this thing uh quite a lot definitely my new favorite trimmer without a doubt